the country with the most Spanish speakers in the world, the nation that consumes the most Coca-Cola globally, and a place with an incredibly eerie museum of mummies, Mexico hides numerous mysteries that are guaranteed to astonish you. Join me on a journey to the beautiful country of Mexico in South America to discover the peculiar truths that attract many visitors to explore this place. Number 21. The country with the most Spanish speakers in the world. If you happen to visit Mexico, make sure to learn a few basic Spanish phrases in advance. Mexico is the country with the highest number of Spanish speakers globally, surpassing even Spain, where the language originated. According to a study published in 2015, Mexico has the largest Spanish-speaking community in the world, with 121 million people. This is a result of centuries of Spanish colonial rule, from the 16th century until Mexico declared independence in 1810. Number 20. Taste Crispy Fried Insects If you have a liking for dishes made from insects, head to Mexico to indulge in some unique flavors. Fried crispy insect dishes such as ant eggs with salt, plump butterfly larvae, large black ants, tarantula spiders, beetles, grasshoppers, and more, are quite popular in this region. You can try these crunchy fried insect delicacies at various restaurants around Mexico. In local markets, these dishes are also displayed in bowls for you to savor. Number 19. Museum of Mummies. El Museo de las Momias, located in Guanajuato, Mexico, consistently ranks among the world's most eerie museums. The museum preserves the bodies of men, women, and children, displaying the mummies in glass cases in various poses. When observing this peculiar collection, visitors might feel a spine-chilling sensation, especially when witnessing the world's smallest mummy, a fetus taken from the womb of a woman who succumbed to the plague. The Mexican government supports this form of exhibition, considering death as the next cycle of current life. The museum attracts many tourists with an entrance fee of only two pesos per person. You may visit to experience it, but be warned, it can be extremely eerie. Number 18. Day of the Deceased Festival in Mexico. If you've watched Disney's popular animated film Coco, you're likely familiar with Mexico's unique Day of the Dead Festival. In Spanish, this day is known as Dia de los Muertos. This celebration typically takes place on November 1st and 2nd. It is an extended holiday period during which families and friends gather to pay respects and remember deceased family members and friends. According to local belief, during these days, the souls of the departed return to be with their families. Therefore, every Mexican family decorates altars inside their homes or at grave sites with yellow-themed fruits, various types of bread, sweets, handmade crafts, and more. Additionally, the altars are adorned with lit candles, portraits, and mementos of the departed. Despite its somewhat eerie name, the atmosphere of the festival is lively and vibrant. Throughout the streets there are parades and extravagant celebrations. Children often participate in street parades dressed in spooky costumes wearing skull masks and skeleton-themed outfits. Number 17. The Island of Dolls in Mexico. Approximately 11 kilometers from the center of Mexico City, there is a small island holding hundreds, possibly thousands of old dolls called Isla de las Munecas. These dolls are scattered across the island in various eerie positions giving anyone, even the bravest, a spine-chilling experience when setting foot on the island. The dolls are hung on trees in the state they were abandoned, some missing eyes, limbs or even heads. Over time and with the constant changes in weather, the dolls become covered in dust and moss, making the eerie landscape of the island even more terrifying. Locals claim that the spirits on Mexico's island of dolls come to life at night and converse with each other. Some tourists even bring their own dolls as a sign of respect and to seek blessings. I wonder if you dare to set foot on this island to admire the dolls, as I find it quite eerie even during the night. Number 16. The World's Largest Pyramid in Mexico When we think of pyramids we often envision grand structures in the vast deserts of Egypt. However, the pyramids in Mexico are equally massive and mysterious. The largest pyramid in terms of volume is the Great Pyramid of Cholula, located in the state of Puebla, Mexico. In 2016, scientists conducting a study reported on BBC that this pyramid, built around 300 BCE, has a base four times larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, measuring approximately 450 meters wide and 66 meters high. 
This structure is not a single pyramid but rather at least six pyramids built on top of each other. Experts believe each pyramid was constructed at different times. The construction date is estimated to be around 300 BCE, but the builders remain unidentified. Since the 1930s, numerous efforts have been made to excavate the entire pyramid. Over 8 kilometers of tunnels have been dug inside the structure for tourist exploration. Number 15. The Silent Zone in Mexico. Known as the Bermuda Triangle without a sea, there is a mysterious area deep within the Chihuahuan Desert called Coahuila, and it has become a lifelong mystery for locals and tourists worldwide. This piece of land is known as Zona del Silencio, the Silent Zone of Mexico. It lives up to its name, as it is an area where radio signals mysteriously do not work. If anyone brings a compass as a backup tool to this area, they will be unable to use it, as the needle of the compass will spin uncontrollably, causing confusion about directions. Moreover, stories of encounters with extraterrestrials, mysterious shadow people, and unexplained UFO sightings in the skies have made Zona del Silencio a land of enigmatic and compelling mysteries in Mexico, with its own secrets. The silent zone remains largely unexplored by the outside world. There are no houses or people living there, just insects, reptiles, and small mammals. If you ever visit Mexico, you might want to explore this place to see if you encounter any mysterious phenomena. Number 14. Mexico City's Slow Submersion. Mexico City, the capital, is built on a former lake bed, and the underground aquifers beneath the city have been gradually drying up due to extensive groundwater extraction over many centuries. Cracks are now forming in the foundations of various areas within the city, posing a risk of infrastructure collapse. According to a study published in the journal, land subsidence is also contaminating the underground water source and affecting water quality. Approximately 70% of Mexico City's drinking water comes from underground wells. Any contamination of these groundwater sources could potentially impact the health of a significant portion of the city's population. In the northeast part of the city, researchers observed land subsidence occurring at a rate of 50 centimeters per year. This subsidence is a cause for serious concern, leading some to compare the situation to a modern-day real-life Atlantis. Number 13. Invention of Color Television Color television, one of humanity's greatest inventions, is particularly credited to Guillermo González Camarena, a Mexican man who expanded the world of television from black and white to color in the 1940s. González Camarena devised a method for transmitting color television, known as the STSC system. The first official color television was introduced in Mexico in 1946, marking a significant milestone in the history of television. Number 12. World's Highest Taxi Density in the Capital With a population of 9 million people, Mexico City is comparable in size to other major metropolises like New York in the United States. However, while New York has around 14,000 taxis, Mexico City boasts over 100,000 registered taxis, leading the world in both the sheer number and the ratio of taxis per capita. Throughout much of its history, more than half of the taxis in this city were green Volkswagen Beetles. However, by the early 2000s, policies aimed at improving fuel efficiency and safety led to the near disappearance of these iconic green taxis. Number 11. Women-only subway cars. Mexico City has subway cars specifically designed for women, with these sections prohibiting men to create a space entirely safe for women. Like any major city, Mexico City faces high crime rates, According to a 2016 survey, 90% of women in Mexico felt unsafe using public transportation. Another study indicated that 70% of female passengers in Mexico City reported experiencing harassment while on buses or the subway. These statistics have influenced the city's subway policies based on gender, in a country where the safety of women or young girls is threatened every day. Protecting women is of utmost importance. Number 10. Home to the world's smallest volcano. While Hawaii boasts Mauna Loa, the world's largest volcano, Mexico is home to Quexcomate, a volcano that stands at a mere 13 meters tall. Located on the outskirts of Puebla, though it is not active, beneath the volcano lies the world's largest hot water spring, with a depth of 23 meters. Compared to Hawaii's Mauna Loa, which stands at 4,169 meters, this volcano is more like a hill. In fact, 
Kuexkamate is even shorter than half the height of the Statue of Liberty. Number 9 Mexico, the world's highest consumer of Coca-Cola. With an average consumption of around 163 liters of Coca-Cola per person per year, Mexico is considered the highest consumer of carbonated beverages in the world. Beverage manufacturers like Coca-Cola often distribute their products in the most remote regions of the country, sometimes at prices cheaper than clean water. The state of Chiapas leads the ranking with an average daily consumption of 2.2 liters of Coca-Cola. One of the reasons for Coca-Cola's popularity in Chiapas is limited access to clean drinking water, coupled with Coca-Cola's aggressive marketing campaigns in the local language. Not surprisingly, diabetes is a significant issue in the town of San Cristobal de las Casas in this state, claiming the lives of over 3,000 people annually. The residents here face the simultaneous challenges of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and a lack of clean water. They believe that the Coca-Cola manufacturing plant on the outskirts of the town is responsible for all of these issues. Number 8. The birthplace of chocolate. The origin of chocolate lies in the cacao bean, and it was the people of Mexico who first created chocolate. The Maya, Inca, and Aztec civilizations in Mexico cultivated cacao trees and processed them into what they called chocolate. Later, explorers introduced these cacao beans mixed with other flavors to the rest of the world. Cacao was entirely unknown to Europeans until the 16th century. Christopher Columbus discovered cacao beans during his fourth voyage to the Americas on August 15, 1502. He directed his crew to seize a large indigenous canoe known to contain cacao beans. Columbus brought the cacao beans back to Spain, but they had little impact until Spanish monks introduced chocolate to the Spanish court in the 16th century. Chocolate made its way to Europe, sugar was added, and chocolate quickly became popular across society, first among the upper class and later among the general population. Number 7. The Land of Delicious Delights Mexico is a country with an exquisite culinary tradition renowned for its mouth-watering dishes that leave a lasting impression. Among them, tamales stand out as the most beloved traditional dish in Mexico. This enticing dish is an integral part of every local meal and is often made in large batches, stored in the freezer, and consumed gradually. Tamales are made from corn dough mixed with various ingredients such as meat, fish, lard, vegetables, and so on. All the ingredients are wrapped in banana or corn leaves and then steamed. Mexico now holds a record for a gigantic tamal measuring 1 meter in length and weighing 68 kilograms created in the state of San Luis Potosi. Inside this colossal tamal is a filling of pork or turkey, accompanied by pickled jalapeños, all wrapped in banana leaves and then baked. It can be said that tamales are the most famous and enticing type of dish in this beautiful country. Alongside tamales is the renowned dish, tacos. The taco shell is made from diluted corn dough, and the filling can include various meats such as chicken, beef, pork, fish, and so on. The ingredients are properly seasoned before being cooked. When enjoying tacos, they are often accompanied by onions, salsa, cilantro, and so on. Burrito is another famous and delicious traditional dish that carries the rich flavors of Mexico and is a must-try when visiting. Number 6. Apartment Shaped Like a Snake Quelcal's Nest is a complex of 10 Airbnb apartments situated in the midst of a tree-filled area in the city of Noran, Mexico. Nestled in the rolling hills and dense oak forests, the Quelcal's Nest housing complex takes the shape of a snake winding through the ground. This architectural marvel was designed by Mexican architect Javier Sosa, drawing inspiration from Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent deity of the Aztecs. The outer walls of Quelcal's Nest are coated in vibrant colors such as emerald green and deep violet, mimicking the colors of Quetzalcoatl's feathers. To stay true to the serpent theme, the architecture here predominantly follows curves or circular lines. Occupying a spacious plot of nearly 7,500 square meters, the complex has a total constructed area of about 1,500 square meters, comprising 10 unique apartments. These apartments are located on the snake's back, with three on the upper floor and seven on the lower floor. The interiors of each apartment feature neutral colored walls, creating a contrast with the vibrant exterior and numerous windows overlooking the lush landscape, resembling circular patterns on the serpent's body. If you're impressed by this architectural style, you can even rent one of these rooms when visiting Mexico. 
Number 5. Mexico is not a third world country. The term third world was coined during the Cold War as part of a political division. Countries aligned with the United States were considered the first world, those aligned with the Soviet Union were the second world, and those not aligned with any bloc were labeled the third world. Although the Cold War ended 25 years ago, the term third world has become synonymous with economically poor countries. When ranked by GDP per capita, Mexico falls somewhere between Turkey and Brazil. Like any developed nation, Mexico has plenty of modern hotels, housing, and exclusive restaurants. However, there is a significant wealth gap. While some families have house help and drivers, many Mexican families struggle to make ends meet. Number 4. Mexico has 59 varieties of corn. Mexico boasts a multitude of corn varieties, each with its own complex nomenclature. While corn in Mexico is generally referred to as maíz, there are many different words for corn in various forms. In fact, Mexico has 59 different varieties of corn. For centuries, the people of Mexico have cultivated corn, considering it a sacred plant and a precious gift from a higher power. Despite various threats from international trade agreements and genetically modified imports, Mexico's love for corn extends to the point where even moldy corn becomes a versatile ingredient in various dishes. This fungus, known as huitlacoche, thrives on corn after rainfall, transforming corn kernels into unusual growths of white, gray, pink, and black. Mexicans separate these huitlacoche growths from the corn and then use them to prepare many traditional dishes with rich and flavorful tastes, such as appetizers like quesadillas, corn tamale cakes, soup, or tacos. Number 3. Tequila is an icon of Mexico. Tequila was first distilled in the 1500s in the Jalisco region. Guadalajara's capital takes its name from the primary production area, the tequila region in the Jalisco highlands of western Mexico, where the agave plant flourishes. Tequila is distilled according to Mexico's traditional formula, and this alcoholic beverage has a relatively high alcohol content, ranging from 38 to 40 percent, with some specialty brands reaching up to 46 percent. Thus, there's a common joke that true spirit enthusiasts must try tequila at least once. Number 2. The Real Name of Mexico Similar to how people often forget that the United States is formally called the United States of America, Mexico is technically called the United Mexican States. However, unlike the United States, this country does not have a tendency to use its full name on many maps, especially in English-speaking countries. This nation comprises 31 states and one federal district, which is Mexico City, one of the most populous urban areas globally. Number 1. Chihuahua is the name of a state in Mexico. Chihuahua, the smallest recognized dog breed globally, is named after the Chihuahua state in Mexico, where it was first discovered in the mid-19th century. Chihuahua is believed to have originated from the native Tequichi breed, a small dog raised by the Toltec people of Mexico since the 9th century. However, the Zoloitzquintli, also known as the Mexican hairless dog, is the true national dog breed of this country. Its name is a combination of Zolotl, the Aztec god of lightning and death, and Itzquintli, which means dog in Nahuatl. It's fair to say it looks quite intimidating with a completely hairless body. So, we've uncovered 20 strange and fascinating facts about Mexico. From famous pastries to bizarre foods like fried insects or festivals dedicated to the deceased, there's a lot to marvel at, isn't there? But that's not all. Mexico is not the only country with strange things and the harshest prohibitions. In summary, Mexico is a treasure trove of wonders, from its bizarre traditions and delicious cuisine, to its captivating history. There's always something new to explore in this vibrant country. If you enjoyed discovering these fascinating facts, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. Join us on this journey and uncover even more surprising stories from around the world.